All right, everyone, welcome back. We're going to be going over the fractal nature of liquidity. Now, we know that structure is fractal. We know that we can find structure within structure. Well, it's the same thing with liquidity, right? There is liquidity within liquidity, the liquidity on the second, so liquidity in the one minute, liquidity on the daily, on the monthly. Liquidity is fractal, the same way that structure is fractal, okay? So let's say we have some equal lows here, okay? Make that better, equal lows. And again, if we don't know these topics or concepts, don't worry, they will be covered down the road. This is just for you to understand the idea, the overall idea of what the fractal nature of the market is, all right? So if we have some equal lows here, and let's say that these equal lows were formed on the one hour time frame, for example, right? So there's equal lows right there. And then just below is the POR. So we have one hour equal lows right there. And then price drops, okay? And then let's say it came into a POI that you thought that price was going to go up from, right? So price goes up. But then it retraces. And then it fails to go higher. And then it drops into that, let's say, the last POI. And then it goes. Now, what happens a lot is when price comes to let's say a POI and price reacts from here. Let me change color. Right? And you see these small small moves. Right? You don't really pay attention to that small move. Right? Because your main focus was right here on the higher time frame, let's say equal lows. But then price fails to just break this high and then price drops down to that last POI. And then it goes. Price was building up liquidity towards that point of interest. Now this liquidity was not clear to you or you couldn't see it on that one hour time frame. This liquidity, let's say it was on the 15 minute, for example. If you would have dropped down to the 15 minute, you would have seen it better. But you didn't pay much attention to it because it was so small. It looked like this, right? It was just small equal lows, double bottom formation. You were more focused on the one hour than the 15 minute. But liquidity is fractal. It gave price a reason to go to that POI. It needs a reason. Right? Price is going to build up liquidity before it makes a move. In other words, a manipulation. Right? But we ignore these small liquidity pools, let's say, because they look too small on that time frame. That's why we switch time frames. That's why we use multiple time frames. The liquidity is fractal. It's not just found on only one time frame, right? And yes, there is, of course, there is strategies that use one, two, three time frames that just use liquidity on that time frame and it works for them. Yes, but that's them. Here, I want you to understand that it's on every time frame. The same way that structure, the structure patterns are. And every time frame, liquidity is on every time frame, weekly, daily, second time frame. All right, let's go over another example. So let's say we have a strong high, right? Then we have this. Then we have this. Retracement. And then this happens, All right? Let's say you're expecting price to come into this PI right here. And let's say that right there is your liquidity pool, for example, right? There's liquidity there on that high, let's say. 
So you're waiting for probably to take that out, go into that POI, and then drop lower. Right. But you see there's eco highs up here. Right? So you ignore that. Then taps into the POI. Then it fails. Then it goes up higher, takes this out. And let's say it came to a POI here. And then it goes. Right? And now you question, what did I do wrong? I mean, obviously there's something missing. Now, of course, you're not going to be right all the time. No one is. And of course, you're not going to always see it. No one will. Right? But with obviously practice and experience, you will. Anyways, the whole point here is for you to understand that there's liquidity on smaller time frames, not just on that time frame itself. It's the reason why price fails to create a new structure. So this point here fails to create a new low because it wasn't done. Liquidity must be built. It must give price a reason to go higher. It needs a reason. Price always needs a reason. It's going to build it up, then go for it. So if we dissect this, right? Change colors here. Let's say price takes out this high. Okay. If we look into liquidity, okay, trend line, sure. Then let's say, let's say it fails, right? It fails to take out that up. It's building up more liquidity. Given the reason. Now this, let me change color on it actually. This right here can be two wicks, one a wick here, one a wick here, considered equal highs on a higher time frame. But on the lower time frame, it looks like this, right? So quiz is fractal, right? That's why we switch time frames. We don't just stick with one or two. We we need to switch back and forth. Now, of course, again, we're not going to always be right and we're not going to always see it. Now, there is rules and plays and whatnot, but that's something that you're going to learn down the road. You're only understanding and learning the overall idea of what fractal is. But no, liquidity is fractal. No, that structure is fractal. And it happens on every single time frame. Right? There's always a reason why price does what it does. Right? If price did this and it didn't do that, there's something missing. Eventually, you missed something or you didn't see something or in that time frame, it wasn't clear. Right? So that's it for now. On to the next one.